Hello and welcome back to Pangariwang Developer Program Structure Track. In this lesson, tutorial lang natin yung ating discussion about tokens. Last time, discussed natin yung literals, keywords, and identifiers. So this time, dito naman tayo mag-focus sa operators. Operators aren't that complicated, hindi siya ganun kahirap kasi kung nanggaling kayo sa grade school, dapat alam nyo na to. Let's give an example. So, 1 plus 1 is an example wherein we could find two literals, yung dalawang 1, at isang operator, which is yung plus. So, plus is an operator while yung dalawang values natin, dalawang literals natin are the operands. So, operands are just symbols or tokens na ginagamit natin that represents any processing. So, they perform actions. Yung plus, ibig sabihin nun is, a-add natin yung dalawang values. Yun yan, hindi siya ganun ka-complicated. 1 plus 1, again, that's very very basic. Yan yung una na natutunan ng mga bata in, when it comes to math. So, yung ating basic operators for arithmetic, sa mga programming languages na we have different types of operators, different functions of operators. For arithmetic, ito yung gamit natin, plus, minus, multiply, divide, and mod, mod which is in diniscuss natin in one of our examples, is yung ating pangkuha na remainder. Yung mod, hindi na niya sinulat as a reserved word, pero technically that's a reserved word. Yun nga lang, it's more of an operator than a reserved word, kaya yun, hindi na nalagay doon. And yung parenthesis, that's for determining kung ano yung mauuna natin ipaprocess. Una natin i-solve. Yun nga, operator precedence, basic math lang to. Anyway, dun lang tayo magsistop muna. Hindi mo tayo magpaproceed dun sa other types ng operators in terms of kung ano yung ginagawa nila. Kasi mas mabuti, magproceed muna kayo rito sa lesson na to, yung statements, expressions, and evaluation of expressions. Kasi... Mahirap i-discuss kung anong ginagawa ng operators kung hindi nyo alam paano ini-evaluate. In other words, kung paano pinaprocess yung ating yun yan, mga 1 plus 1 natin. Mabuti, punta mo na kayo rito. For the rest of this lesson, di-discuss na na yung other classifications ng ating operators. Yung types of operators natin, based kung ano yung ginagawa nila, that would be for another lesson kasi na-discuss na yan yung arithmetic operators. Pero this time, di-discuss muna natin yung ibang classifications niya. For instance, yung mga pinakita natin na operators, they're mostly binary infix operators. So, ang di-discuss na rito for the rest of this lesson is kung ano yung binary na yan, ano yung infix na yan. So, yung first is yung notation. Kung paano nakasulat yung ating mga operators. So, for this classification, meron tayong tatlong types. First is yung prefix notation. Yung uunahin mo yung operator followed by yung operands. So, yung 1 plus 1 in prefix notation, that's just plus 1, 1. So, inuuna na yung operator kasi prefix notation siya. Prefix, prefix, whatever. Yung more common notation natin is yung infix. Yung sa gitna yung operator between ng operands natin. So yung 1 plus 1, that's infix notation kasi nasa gitna yung plus. Yung last type dun sa ating notation is yung postfix. Unlike dun sa prefix notation natin, uh, postfix is yung operands and sa umpisa. So sa huli yung operator natin. So obviously yung pinakakoman is yung infix. Pero for programming purposes, madalas rin gamitin yung prefix notation. Kasi when it comes to calling functions, using functions, ginagamit natin is ninalagay na yung function name sa umpisa, which can be considered in itself an operator kasi it does processing. Yun naman pinagsasabi natin sa intro to computer science. And yung mga operands niya, which is yung arguments niya, are placed afterwards. So, yun, yung mga function calls natin, function invocation natin, that's in prefix notation. Pero, mas madalas yung pa rin may kita yung infix notation as opposed to dun sa ating prefix notation. And postfix, uh, meron tayo yung stuff na gagawin sa postfix, but it's more of, sabihin na natin, more of a curiosity than a practical thing. 
Anyway, yung other classification natin for operators is yung number ng operands niya. So, we have unary, binary, and ternary operators. Yung pinakoman is yung binary operator. So, binary operator has two operands. Kaya nga, binary eh. Yung a lot less common is yung unary operator. It's an operator that only has one operand. So, yung pinakoman rito is yung minus and there's also another yung exclamation point which is later na hindi discuss. Pero dito, hindi ito yung literal na negative. May kita nyo hiwalay yung minus dun sa 100. So, in this case, yung minus is now an operator na nagne-negative nung ating value dun sa side niya. So, yung pinaprocess niya na, na value. So, yung result nito is negative 100. Kasi negative mo 100, so that's negative 100. So, that's a unary operator. It's an operator that accepts one operand. And yung last type ng operator natin, in terms of number of operands niya, is yung ternary operator. So, dito yung operator nan is yung question mark colon na operator. This is the ternary conditional operator. Kung hindi nyo ito may kita, let's color code this. So, yung operator is in black. Kahit dalawang symbol yan, this whole thing is considered a single operator. Yung question mark colon. And yung mga operands nya ay tatlo. Yung naka-red, which is an entire value. And yung na-green, yung A, and yung blue na B. So, yung operator na to, later na to discuss This is more of sa logic na. Pero in reality, this is just a shortcut. Hindi nga siya ganun kadali basahin. Pero, if you're working in larger code bases, medyo occasionally you're going to come up with this. Especially when you're dealing with more seasoned programmers. Kasi seasoned programmers can use this properly and make code much more readable. Pero kung bulok ka na programmer, mukhang ewan yung code mo pag madalas mo itong gagamitin itong ternary conditional operator natin. Anyway, so yun yung ating possible classification sa operator. Kadalasan naman kasi binary infix yan na operators. Kaya mostly parang FYI lang yung diniscuss na dito. So yun, Proceed na kayo dun sa ating next lesson and after that we're going to continue dun sa ating mga other operators dun sa ating other operators which deal with logic.